This is astonishing news. This discovery, I hope, can be used for free energy. A new droplet-based electricity generator. One drop of water generates 140 volt power. It can light up 100 LED bulbs. February 5, 2020. This is from the City University of Hong Kong. Generating electricity from raindrops effectively, efficiently has gone one step further. Can you imagine? A research team has recently developed a droplet-based electricity generator, DEG, featured with a field effect transistor, FET-like structure, that allows for high energy conversion efficiency and instantaneous power density increased by a thousand times compared to its counterparts without FET-like structure. This would help to advance scientific research of water energy generation and tackle the energy crisis, of course. The research was led together by Professor Wang Zhuangkai from City's U Department of Mechanical Engineering, Professor Zheng Zhaocheng from University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and Professor Wang Zhong Lin, Founder, Director, and Chief Scientist from Beijing Institute of Nanoenergy and Nanosystems of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Their findings were published in the latest issue of Nature Journal. The efficiency of electrical energy conversion is greatly improved. Hydropower is nothing new. About 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Yet low-frequency kinetic energy contained in waves and tides and even raindrops are not efficiently converted into electrical energy due to limitation in current technology. For example, a conventional droplet energy generator based on the triboelectric effect can generate electricity induced by contact electrification electrostatic induction when a droplet hits the surface. However, the amount of charges generated on the surface is limited by the interfacial effect and as a result the energy conversion efficiency is quite low. In order to improve the conversion efficiency, the research team has spent two years developing the DEG. Its instantaneous power density can reach up to 50.1 watts per square meter, thousands of times higher than other similar devices without the use of FET-like design. And the energy conversion efficiency is markedly higher. Professor Wang from CityU pointed out that there are two crucial factors for the invention. First, the team found that the continuous droplets impinging on PTFE, an electrical material with a quasi-permanent electrical charge, provides a new route for the accumulation of storage and storage of highly density high density surface charges. They found that when droplets of water continuously hit the surface of PTFE, the surface charges generated will accumulate and gradually reach a saturation. This new discovery helped to overcome the bottleneck of low charge density encountered in previous work. Unique field effect transistor-like structure. Another key feature of their design is a unique set of structures similar to FET which a Nobel Prize in Physics winning innovation in 1956 has become the, basis, the basic building block of modern electronic devices nowadays. The device consists of an aluminum electrode and an indium tin oxide ITO electrode with a film of PTFE deposited on it. The PTFE ITO electrode is responsible for the charge generation, storage and induction. When a falling water droplet hits and spreads on the PTFE ITO surface, it naturally bridges the aluminum electrode and the PTFE ITO electrode, translating the original system into a closed loop electric circuit. With this special design, a high density of surface charges can be accumulated on the PTFE through continuous droplet impinging, and meanwhile, when the spreading water connects the two electrodes, all the stored charges on the PTFE can be fully released for the generation of electric circuit, the electric current. And as a result, both the instantaneous power density and energy conversion efficiency are much higher. Professor Wang said, our research shows that a drop of 100 microliters, one microliter is one millionth of a liter, one uh, drop of microliters of water released from a height of 15 centimeters, which is just about... Uh, half the size of your palm, can generate a voltage of 140 volts 
and the power generated can light up a hundred small LED light bulbs, Professor Wang said. He added that the increase in instantaneous power density does not result from additional energy, but from the conversion of the kinetic energy of water itself. He said the kinetic energy entailed in falling water is due to the gravity and can be regarded as free and renewable. It should be better utilized. The research shows that the reduction in relative humidity does not affect the efficiency of power generation. Also, both rainwater and seawater can be used to do this, to generate electricity. Facilitates and uh, sustainability of the world. Professor Wang hoped that the outcome of this research would help to harvest water energy to respond to the global problem of renewable energy shortage. He says generating power from raindrops instead of oil and nuclear energy can facilitate the substantial development of the world, he said. This is just amazing. I can't believe this. this is just. I hope they put this to use everywhere. He says he believed that in the long run, the new design could be applied and installed on different surfaces, whether liquid in contact with solid, to fully utilize the low temperature kinetic energy in water. This can range from the hull surface of ferry coastline to the surface of umbrellas or even inside water bottles. This is amazing. Amazing. General references are uh, uh, the various professors that worked on this, the, uh, 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 the Professor Wang's team, and droplet-based electricity generated with high instantaneous power density, and uh, published on Nature Magazine 2012, uh, 2020. City University of Hong Kong, new droplet-based electricity generator, a drop of water generates 140 volt power, lighting up 100 LED bulbs. It's on Science Daily, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research, and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.